Hey, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. The victim's bag? Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. I need to get back to it, Phelps. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab.
Catch all the good ones, Phelps. What do you think? It's a crime scene, isn't it? I'll just stand there, take a look around.
think I've seen it all. Bomba Club? Why steal a table lighter? Can we get to the Bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this.
If we survive this, it's going to be a miracle. The werewolf? For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The caller of the decade. They've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got nicks. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, hot shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us unknown in a corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stoom. Dad, you're gonna kill us! Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stoom. Or some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the ammo and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. Phelps! You know, the Examiner and the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. If there's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder, it was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand. Stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. Can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We would have found him. All units, officer, need help. 211 and shots fired. 11K, we'll handle the 211. Go to hell, Paka! No way I'm going down without a fight. Drop the weapon, hands behind your head! Yeah? Fucking two! God damn it, get out Put your hands in the air! Give it up! LAPD! He's hiding in the alley! He shimmied up a drain pipe!
All units, officer needs help. 211 and shots fired. 391 Broadway, Mallory's Cafe. 391 Broadway. Unit 10, three, 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 identify. No way I'm going down without a fight. Drop the weapon, hands behind your head. Yeah? Fuck you too. God damn it. Put your hands in the air. He's hiding in the alley. Give it up, LAPD. Don't make me chase you! How long are you gonna keep this up? This is Car 11 King. Advise all units that the 211 from Mallory's Cafe is code 4, KGPL. Roger 11K, all units, 211 from Mallory's Cafe is uh. code 4, repeat, code 4. A break. KGPL 20 Century in a, a citizen reports a man with a gun on Grand between 4th and 5th. Any Century unit identify.
Well, you don't see that every day. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's a hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Inquire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. So, uh, how's your tuna fish salad? You going to pay for that? On the house, officer. That's the spirit. Pour me another. Circumstantial. I think he's a bit of a ganguero, but... Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Oh, Christ. Sure I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is... was a... A lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes, at around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. Was it valuable? Could it be motive for her murder? Who could say these days? I think it had more sentimental than monetary value.
You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Hmm. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Was he ever violent with her? Celine came in here last night looking like she'd taken a slap. They don't live together anymore, so it might not have been him. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Let's get out so, of here. So, uh, how's your tuna fish Hey, out? what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2Boy8899. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks for your help. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharpens my investigatory instincts, Phelps. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job if a healthy thirst offends you, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. It's worse than I could ever have imagined.
I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Not much help. Nothing significant. Size nines, above average for a lady. Optimistic call. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm going to climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, buster. Selene and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564, requesting technical services for a suspected 459 at 142 North Union. Tiffany? The rest of this stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Regular Amelia Earhart in her day. The ring looks distinctive. Incidental.
said I had to go back, Doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me! The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with it. You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan! Jennifer Horgan! I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but... Celine had been drinking, and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. I survived the war for this. Ah. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Ah, for my money, if the broad keeps the house looking like that, she probably deserved it. 
The skipper says bring him in. We'll keep the hacks off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Okay, Phelps, we go in hard. You follow my lead. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, oh my for God. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're going to have a look around, I, then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. I, I get even the slightest hint that you... So who could have killed Celine? Around. Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. We know that she drinks, Jacob. Drunks have regular haunts, places they feel relaxed. <sighs> Celine did most of her drinking at home. She didn't have many friends left. Many alcoholics do. Not real friends, anyway. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around 9. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? I've had just about enough of you. So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place? I came back here. I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. I'm not the going out type. Did a neighbor see you? Did you talk to anyone? You need an alibi, Jacob. I don't have one. I was here. I listened to Amos and Andy on the radio, and then I went to bed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the trap, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? 
Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Okay. Let's just... You're not... Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. What are we waiting for? Not sure this means much. Operator, message for KGPL. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head, surprisingly, were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R&I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2Boy8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, Detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. junk.
I doubt it. Nope. The oldest problem there is, what to do about the old lady. Looks like someone else kicks Selena to death. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Your brother said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get.
Hey, Cole, let's get moving. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. Don't think this is anything. Nope. No good to me. Doesn't look like anything. junk.
Seems irrelevant. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break, and Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Right there. You don't need to do this, Alonzo. Get in and drive. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break and Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there! You don't need to do this, Alonzo! Get in and drive. Get him, Cole! Spit him out! I don't need this. We got a 
an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle, and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect, and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 